Hi guys, this is Simeon. I'm in our hallway. I just ate lunch. I'm gonna go outside now. I finished the nesting boxes, the rollaway nesting boxes, and I installed them last night. The chickens hopefully laid in them today. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna show you the design, uh, how I built them, some measurements, and then we'll see together if they work or not. Let's go. We've had the worst kind of winter weather. We really hoped that this winter would be nice and normal, but it's just like the other past two winters. It's horrible. Just wet, mild, cold, mild, cold, mild. It's miserable. Okay, so here I am in the chicken stable. These are the nesting boxes. Um, they're 1.2 meters wide, and there are three levels, and each, <clears throat> each nesting box is about uh, 30 centimeters deep and 40 centimeters high. You'll have to see what that is in inches and feet and stuff. And that's plenty of space for all my chickens to lay. They're all away nesting boxes. I built them out of OSB because that's what I had. That's not ideal, but I um, I just did that because when you don't have much money, you use what you have. Ideally, I would want to use plywood, but not just the normal cheap plywood, but the plywood that's normally used to build forms and stuff to pour concrete in. Um, that's much better, because you also need to wash this out sometimes. Let's go in and I'll show you um, some additional stuff that I did, what I put in the nests, and then see if they laid some eggs. Okay guys, here we have it. Um, the nesting boxes. That chicken is actually trying to reach the eggs there right now. Did you guys see that? Okay, that really sucks, but it means there must be eggs there, yep, there are eggs there that rolled away, but the hen, the hen reached the eggs. Hey, you're mighty noisy. So that's something that I already see. It's not good at the design that she can reach the eggs. The whole point is that they roll away so they can't even peck them. Girl! Girl, you're messing up my video. You're way too loud. You know how loud you are. Come on. Anyway, so you see these boxes. I put these roosts here. Pretty much, again, uh, this is copy from Richdale. Um, you, when these fold up, they, they close the nesting boxes. And then here is where you reach the eggs. Let's check if there are some. Come on. So, here, here are the roosts. And I have a rope connected. You see how all of them move. The rope I can reach from the other side. So here you have some eggs. Let's move this away. I, I put these mats in here that they roll on. I can wash them. Here the eggs are. And they roll away. Then I used um, this kind of foam stuff that you can use to insulate pipes. And that's where the eggs roll against. So um, the eggs are nice and clean here. No eggs in the middle box but there are several eggs down here, as you can see. And they are, this one broke. So it seems like a chicken actually pecked on that egg already because they were able to reach. So what I can see already is that I will have to remove this foam. Whoa. What I can see already is I'll have to move this foam so they can roll further down. But um, yeah, this is how it is. And it seems to work great otherwise. So these mats, they have holes in them, as you can see here. Uh, I guess you can see that. These mats have holes in them, so you can take them out and wash them. And um, I think I will have to do this maybe every week or so. Instead of buying hinges, I use this rubber here from an old belt. And um, it works great as a hinge, you see just saved a little money right there. I got that tip from uh, one of the viewers of our channel actually. So, um, 
This seems to work great. Yeah. So the, the the whole deal with this is they roll away. I can close them up at night. Uh, I was out here at six this morning and I opened up the nesting boxes and um, I can have this rope. Now the chickens pulled it out, so I have to figure it out. But this rope goes through uh, up here to the back where you can just pull it and then all three roosts are being lifted at the same time. So the eggs are clean, chickens are laying. I'm gonna be excited to see how this will be this evening when all the chickens are done laying. Now, one thing that I'll have to see how this will turn out is, um, I was always glad um, in the winter time when I had less nesting boxes. This is a trick for you guys who, um, who have cold winters. I always had less nesting boxes, so I would, not, not much less, but a few less, just so the chickens could, uh, would be more in the same boxes and then keep the eggs warmer and from freezing. So I wouldn't have to go there every hour to pick eggs because they would freeze. And that way when the chickens were sitting on it, you know, they were actually staying, um, yeah. They were actually staying fine. Look at this chicken. is trying to get the eggs again. Uh, this is a bummer, huh? Bummer. I'll actually remove the foam right now so the chicken can't reach the eggs. I'll have to see now if um, without the foam. Now you're noisy again. I'll have to see now if without the foam, if the eggs will bump against it and crack too much. But, um, boy, if this doesn't work, if the chickens are trying to get the eggs like that and roll them around, they'll break. I'll have to redo this front part, make it longer so they roll away further. Um, now I did 15 centimeters there. So you see the mats, they have a gap back here. This is the next thing. Um, these, this was a standard size mat. They were much cheaper than the one on a roll. And so I bought these hoping that it will work so far. No egg has gotten stuck back here. It has worked fine, but we'll see. I can tell you this already. You have heard me say in previous videos that um, I think nesting boxes should be as natural as possible for the hens, meaning a hen goes and likes to build a nest. These ones, they don't do that. In, I, I mean, they can't. It's plastic, there's no straw, there's no hay. But I'm forced to do this in the winter time here, at least, because um, I need clean eggs. And, you know, the thing is that they are already trying to scratch on this plastic stuff. They're trying to get the eggs out so they can sit on them and all of that stuff. Um... You can already tell that they are not as excited about these nesting boxes. But you know, you have to see how it works. They're much worse things. If everything else works fine for the chickens, um, I'm willing to compromise on this if this means I'm actually getting um, clean eggs. The whole operation doesn't work if I don't have clean eggs. <sighs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed these insights. and. Um, I'm really glad I have this and this vlog is starting to lay a bunch so yeah thanks for watching leave some comments below if you have some questions or suggestions or thoughts and I will see you in the next video bye bye